Hi everybody, this is Troy Stein. I've been asked to give a quick demonstration of Camtasia Studio for first time users, so let's jump into it. Camtasia Studio has the ability to record the screen. So if you click this button, it will bring up the recorder, which gives you the ability to choose either a full screen or portion of the screen, turn the webcam on or off. Most importantly, I recommend selecting the microphone or a microphone and then checking the sound levels to make sure that it's coming in okay. You click record, uh, you record the screen, And let's say we're gonna walk through this database application. All right, to do a search on this database, we're going to click on here and type in Sherlock. And from here, we'll be able to see, uh, sure enough, there is this Sherlock, but in fact, there is this Sherlock and there's this Sherlock, and they all happen to live at the very same place. If we wanted to go and uh, show all of them, uh, we could now go and see all of the Sherlocks there, plus anybody else like James Moriarty and John H. Watson. Finish our recording. Recording. We're going to be able to preview the video, but uh, for our purposes, we'll just save and edit. We'll call this one Camtasia. And it shows up now as part of uh, a project. I've already got a video on the timeline, so why don't I take a look at that project that we've got over here. Uh, in this project, you'll see that the video shows up on the timeline. Uh, if I want to, I can trim out a portion of the video simply by dragging it in and out. That allows me to cut, and this is always non-destructive. Uh, I can do the same at both ends of the video. Alternatively, if I want to, if there's a portion that I want to cut out, uh, I can uh, simply hit uh, the S key for split, and that puts a split on the timeline. If I do another one right here, and uh, split that. Uh, now I've got a section that I can just as easily right click and, and delete from the timeline. Alternatively, undo control Z gets me back to where I was before. Let's say there's uh, something on the screen that uh, I want to obscure for people. So uh, at this point in the video, I, uh, I go to uh, callouts and I choose the blur callout and it automatically drops a call out on the screen and I can modify and resize it. I can also choose how long I want that blur to be on the screen or how short I want it to be on there. The alternative is true though, I can turn that into a highlighter if I, if I need to, or uh, if I want to, I can even just make it an interactive hotspot. So when they click on that, it will take them to www.sherlockholmes.com, whatever. Okay, so uh, these callouts uh, can be moved around and deleted. If I want to, I can add music to my timeline as well. One thing that makes uh, Camtasia, excuse me, that makes Camtasia videos uh, so effective, in, in my opinion, is the ability to draw people's attentions to things. So we've got this part of our screen recording right here, and I'm going to go to my cursor effects, which is an option over here. And in the cursor effects, I'm going to choose the add an animation, which means from here on out, uh, I'm going to have that cursor be significantly larger to make it easier for people to see. I'm also going to highlight it. And in fact, let's, uh, let's modify that effect ever so slightly. We're going to soften up the edge. I like to soften it if I can. And uh, in fact, just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna go with a slightly different color. I kind of like a little orangish yellow there and that drops people's attention. So uh, the way it happens here is the cursor's here. You can't really see it. And all of a sudden, there it goes. And so now it's much bigger and, and easier to see. Um, if I want to, by the way, I can also move that animation around the timeline. So lots and lots of functionality here inside of Camtasia. The ability to zoom in, the ability to add audio effects if I want to, including music. There's all kinds of music here inside the library uh, that you can add to the video. And uh, voice narration, quizzing, captioning, etc. There's a whole ton there. If you ever need more help inside of Camtasia Studio, we've got the tutorials option right here. Producing and sharing is pretty simple. If you want to go directly to YouTube, screencast.com, Google, etc., you can, or just go to produce and share, and it will generally give you an MP4 file. Uh, the MP4 up to 720p is always a good default. Lastly, on side of inside of Camtasia is uh, just your project settings. I would generally default to a project setting of 720p and then produce at 720p, and you'll get uh, some nice looking videos. Best of luck.
talk to you later. Bye.